I'm bored of League of Legends, and these are the reasons why. There are cunts everywhere. Every single game you go into, cunt, 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 cunt. Well, not five, because that would imply that I'm a cunt. Unless we're talking about the enemy team, but there's still a lot of cunts. It's hard to keep up. I had a four month hiatus from League of Legends, and now I come back and everything is different. Irelia's different, Akali's different, Nunu's different, there's like new champions, new items, and I'm just sitting there like, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. So I'm just gonna play Blitzcrank and hook people. Yasuo. The meta was stale for too long. The tank meta just comes in and goes again for like a week and then comes back again because the tank meta just keeps coming back. It's just becoming more stale. However, this isn't a con for me because I main tanks. So it's actually a pro, so yeah. But, it, but it's a con for most people. When a champion gets reworked and you don't like the rework, Gangplank and Katarina come to mind. I really, really miss old Gangplank Red Pot getting that first blood every single fucking time. And classic Katarina, which was bullshit, which is why I liked her. I don't like skill. Now this is a pro for me, but I know it's a con for a lot of other people, but preseason is always a mess. No matter what they do to the game, Preseason just comes in and shits everywhere. And a lot of people don't like it. Zed. The games are too long. I don't have time these days to put 40 minutes aside for a game of League of Legends. And if I lose the game, then I won't actually have that much fun because I've played it for so long now that a loss just feels way worse than a win, obviously. What am I trying to say? The feeling of losing a game outweighs the feeling of winning a game, if that makes sense. It feels worse to lose a game than it does feel good to win a game. I think I explained it right. And this ties into my other point, because the games are so long, or can be so long, playing ranked is a chore. You don't gain enough points when you win to warrant playing 40 minutes of the video game. And if you lose, you lose the points Ranks are just shit. Lee Sin. Every single Lee Sin on the enemy team is a fucking god. But every Lee Sin on your team is fucking shit. Every time. Every time. I think the thing that annoys me the most is you have to rely on your team not to be shit. There's four other people in your team, and if one of them feeds their ass off and gets the enemy Katarina fed, for example, then the rest of the game is a fucking chore, and it's next to impossible to solo carry. Say in Overwatch, you're like a really good soldier player, and you get that sweaty ult that just takes the Pharah out of the sky and the Mercy and kills a fucking support, and that shit just doesn't work in League of Legends. You just can't solo carry as easily. Riven. The LCS is stale and South Korea win every time. What's the point of even... Th I want... I want Europe to win. Maybe even NA. But the bottom line is, basically, I've played the game for four years, and I'm burnt out. So, no matter what they do to bring me back, it will never ever be like it was when I first started playing. I look back at those times with rose-tinted goggles like that, but the annoying thing is, I know the game is still good. I just kind of don't want to play a MOBA for at least a decade. So those are the cons that I thought of. Most of them aren't really cons, they're more nitpicks, and most of them also aren't really cons. They're more me not enjoying the game as much anymore because I've played it for so long. I hope you enjoy the very classic video that is about to come up. It's one of my first ever videos, so it is a bit shit. But if you want to support the channel, Patreon's in the description. If you want to subscribe, then there's a subscribe button. God, I'm so bad at these. Oh. If you want to subscribe, please do. If you want to support the channel, please do. If you want to hit the bell, please do. You can't do those. You can't do those. You can't do those. You can't do those. But there's one they fear. In their tongue is Uvaki. Dragon Ball! Oh!
hurt, guys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, guys. Oh. Guys, <laughs> we're not close to you, but you could probably kill her anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there. That's good. You are a mom death. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call your mum death? It's only one way to reply. Yes. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> it's 2v2. Alright, it's 2v2 Ow. then, Ben. Fuck it, come on. Quite far away. Jack Hill. Yeah. Oh. It's 2v2. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff was just jumping around like, <laughs> and I'm just like auto attacking. Like, do I give a fuck? You motherfucking noob, I am so gappy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking come at you solo or something. No, no, no. Uh, I've got my gun. So, we've got three. Target locked. Because <laughs> 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 I'm the, best <laughs> the most obvious decoy in the world. I know, I knew it was a decoy Just as well. Standing there doing, doing nothing for about a second and then going, I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was a decoy as well. <laughs> but they still hold it. Oh.